down the far end Blah. is wait, young do Adam. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Shot. In your turn. Take your turn. Well bowled. I was involved in a serious car crash when I was 10 and um, it was, uh, I, I don't remember a lot about it to be honest, I mean even though that was over 20 years ago, um, I'm, I just go on what I'm told basically. Um, it, was, it was a jeep uh, and it um, pulled out of a side road um, and uh, I'm, I'm told and that on the side of my head was caused by the bull bars on the jeep and um, I, I smashed my pelvis and my both my legs. I, I had uh, to learn how to talk again, I had to learn how to walk again, um, I had to, you know, I, I, I had to learn how to handle social situations, I had to learn pretty much everything. The back foot coming through, yeah? Just that front foot, well done, right. Here it comes. Brilliant shot and well bowled. Yeah, you kept your back foot still there. The doctors apparently said to my, my mother and my father, um, maybe it was just my father, I, I don't know. But they, they said, well, they said I'd die at first. Then they said he'll, he'll never walk again and that just, when, when I found out, I thought, right, I'm going to show you. <laughs> right, you watch me. So that, that's kind of where it started. So it, it's just like, um, it's just like, you know, I, I consider it a, a massive achievement when I do stuff um, that, you know, other people um, who haven't had a similar experience to me would struggle to do. I've got over most of the physical things. I mean, um, you know, that's uh, I pride myself on keeping myself very fit. But um, you know, uh, m mentally, I'm mentally often I feel like feel like a little little boy. Um, I'm. Uh, I've got. I've yeah. My confidence is wrecked. I'm. Um, I've got poor, um, you know, fine motor skills and um, s stuff like stuff like that. Um, poor, poor, yeah, you know, every kind of mental. Um, I suffer from depression quite badly. Of his courage and commitment, and so I have great pleasure in awarding this cup to Adam Lansley. I saw Peter Hamlin talk and I just thought, well, God, this really is a great charity. Just thought, and I just thought how, how much um, brain, brain injury treatment has, has come along in, in just the last, you know, 10 years. And if it, if it had been what it, what it was, what it is now, when I had my car crash, then, you know, who knows how much better I'd be. And I just want to, um, you know, I just want to help it keep evolving and keep progressing. If I'd had my, my, my brain injury, you know, a few years ago, then I probably would, would have, you know, uh, been progressing a lot better than I was, you know, uh, 17 years ago or whatever because that that's the nature of of the the treatment of brain injuries it's just um offering far more results now because we know more about it and that's why the more money the charity gets the better equipped they'll be to keep developing and keep um progressing in the field Brain injuries cause mental illness like depression and like any other mental illness that, you know, um, and even if they're not caused by brain injuries, they're, 
they're, they're still kind of shunned and um, it's just the whole issue of mental health is should be brought out in the open rather than kind of locked away in a box and shoved to the back of the closet because the, the more people address the, these things, the, you know, the, the better the treatment will be. And, um, you know, it, it's horrible. It's horrible having, having, having a brain injury or having a, a men mental il illness. And the last thing you need is to be like, oh, let's leave him alone. You know, he's, he's got a brain injury or he's got a men mental illness. We obviously need to back off. The more help, the more people know about, about these, these um, things, the more help will be available to the next sufferer. So I, I just want to help raise as much money as possible to help the development of the treatment of these things.